Welcome. Most people that know me will be sure that uh, I am absolutely dedicated to videoing steam railways. It's the nostalgia, you know. And we're very lucky because near Northampton there's a new preserved steam railway just about to get on its feet. That's the Northampton and Lamport Railway. It's the Northampton to Market Harbour branch and was designed by George Bid Bidder and George R. Stevenson and opened in 1859. It had six stations and two tunnels. Kelmarsh, 322 yards and Oxenden, 462 yards on the downline and 453 on the upline. The branch has a staggered history in its final years. It was first closed to passengers on the 4th of the 1st 1960 but reopened to through traffic on the 6th of the 1st 69. It was closed again on the 1st of the 5th 1969 and reopened again on the 10th of the 7th 1972. The passenger service was, was withdrawn on the 26th of the 8th 1973 and the line was finally closed by British Railways on the 16th of the 8th, 1981. On the 15th of the 8th, 81, a diesel multiple unit was hired to run from Northampton to Market Harbour and return. People gathered on the old station sites, bridges and crossings to see the last British rail train run on the line that had given 123 years of service. The track south of Bowton Crossing is still owned by British Rail. The northwest bypass could cut the track bed, but it is hoped that a bridge will allow the line to be reopened into Northampton Castle Station. Well, you can see by the pictures you've already seen that uh, the Lamport Railway is... Uh, very badly in need of security cameras because of the vandalism. There is a public footpath which now runs the full length of the track alongside the line between Northampton and Market Harbour. The River Nen also runs fairly close to the line and the scenery is quite nice around this area. On the day we visited it was pretty cold. It was February 1996. The station, the line, three quarters of a mile at the moment is due or will be due for its final opening on the 31st of March 1969. That's my fellow cameraman Ernie there. Well this is the station area and the sidings and the people who are working here formed a group in 1981 with the intention of reopening the branch from Northampton to Market Harbour. Three years later the society started rebuilding the railway in the old goods yard at Pittsford and Brampton station where we are now. Phase one is now complete consisting of a station two signal boxes they also have 1240 meters of running line and sidings And you can hear the wind blowing there. <laughs> As I say, it was a pretty cold day. When completed to Lamport Crossing, the line will be approximately six and a half miles long. On the 19th of November 1995, the Northampton and Lamport Railway carried its first fair paying passengers.
The present motive power includes a number of working steam and diesel locomotives. Further steam and diesel locomotives can be seen in various stages of restoration. A good stock of carriages, guards, vans and wagons are held ready for use, though as I say some of them very badly vandalised. And uh, the stock book contains de details of all the locomotives and rolling stock and is available in the souvenir shop. The facilities that they've got at present are toilet facilities, a buffet that serves hot and cold drinks, and as I say, the souvenir shop. It's a very small band of people that keep the railway going at the moment, and being an up and coming railway, you notice uh, a different kind of friendliness uh, than what you do on the bigger railways. Well, that's what I've found. Some of the bigger preserved lines have become very commercial. Uh, this is still in such early stages that um, it's just a different atmosphere. Everybody's so much more friendly and helpful. We've now come up to the northern end of the three-quarter mile track and this is one of the big difficulties that they've got in repairing this bridge structure. Hear that wind. For when they officially open on the 31st of March, uh, they have got uh, two um, services. One's an off-peak timetable, where there's a train at 11.30, 12.15, 1300, 13.45, 14.30 and 15.15. And then in the summer, which uh, is the 9th of June to the 22nd of September, uh, they run uh, a, uh, a better service, but they're using diesel and steam. And uh, it's 11 o'clock, 13.20 and 16.45, they are the diesel trains. And then at 11.50, 12.30, 14.00, 14.40, 15.20, 15.30, 15.30. That will be the steam service. As I say, not a very long track. But you could still quite easily spend uh, two to three hours there. There's Ernie again with his full-size Panasonic M10. This was the first day, incidentally, that that locomotive uh, was steamed. It had never been in steam before, so uh, of course all the enthusiasts that were there were quite thrilled about this.
There is an old station master's house that has also been converted into a public house uh, which serves traditional ales and excellent home cooked food uh, which is available every day throughout the seasons. I understand they do a very nice Sunday lunch there. <laughs> Sounds as if there's a real gale blowing there. Uh, we were sheltered in this particular spot by these diesel locomotives. Anyway, it'll be very interesting in the years to come to see how this little railway develops, which is just uh, four or five miles from Ernie's home and 15 miles from ours. <laughs>